let's attempt to evaluate these limits. For the first one, limit as x approaches 3 of 2x cubed plus 1. The easiest way of doing this is just plugging 3 into x. So it's going to be 2 times x, which is 3, cubed plus 1. And that's going to come out to be 2 times 27 plus 1, or 55. If you have a polynomial function inside the limit, or for which we are evaluating the limit for, you can just plug the value into it to find what the limit is. The second, the second one, limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. In this case, if the function is rational, you gotta check if the bottom, if the denominator is going to be 0 when you plug the x into it. In this case, when you plug x equals 3 into x plus 1, you get 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. In this case, 4 is not a 0, so you can evaluate this limit by plugging x into it. So it's going to be 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1, also known as 9, 6, and 1, 16 over 4, which is equal to 4. For the rational function, if the denominator is 0, let's take the case limit as x approaches 1 of x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. When you plug 1 into x minus 1, you're going to have 0 on the bottom. And if you have 0 on the bottom, that becomes undefined or indeterminate. If you have 0 on the bottom, you will not know if the limit exists or not. There's a chance it does, there's a chance it does not. In those cases, there are other things you can apply, such as L'Hopital's or factoring or some rationalizing to find the limit. And we are going to look into that on, on the later videos.